Hi, welcome to this chapter of HTTP status code. In this chapter, we are going to understand about the HTTP status codes because HTTP status codes are the building blocks of REST API. And the reason behind it is that REST API are using HTTP protocol as the building block. So we should understand what actually any of the HTTP status code means and what uh, because any of the HTTP status code conveys some sort of information and we should be aware before moving uh, towards uh, the REST API automation framework. So basically what actually happens is there are five type of HTTP status codes, 100 series, 200 series, 300 series, 400 series and 500 series. Here one double X means that uh, 100 series and it means that uh, uh, it starts with one and it could be anything like because in 100 series there can be different type of status codes um, here it, it only represents the series so you can see that 100 series represents the informational responses 200 series re represents the successful uh, responses 300 series represents the redirectional responses 400 series represents the client errors and 500 series represents the server errors. So these are quite uh, uh, quite helpful in understanding what they actually uh, want to convey. So now let us move forward because uh, these are the series. So they contain many number of status codes, but we do not need to uh, memorize every one of the status codes. So we are going to we are going to going we are going to uh, pass through uh, the most commonly used HTTP status codes. So uh, from 100 family, I have picked one uh, one HTTP status code, which means that uh, which is 100, and it means that continue. So um, the server has it means that the server has received the request headers, and the client should proceed to send the request body. For example, in case of post request. So whenever we receive 100, it means that the server has received the headers and the client now should proceed uh, to the sending to the body of that particular request. This is one of the message that is conveyed by the 100 and you may face 100 in many scenarios whenever you have a heavy post request which has a very big uh, body and so in those scenarios you may encounter this 100 response intermittently now moving towards the from uh, 200 family or 200 series we are going to discuss three responses three http status codes which are most commonly used 200 means okay and it is the standard response of all of the successful http requests so whenever you receive 200 it means everything is green and you are good to go and you have received your response and your request was correct as well 201 means that uh, some new resource has been created you will observe this response status code in most of the uh, in all of the post requests whenever we will uh, try to create a new resource using the post request 204 means that no content it means that the server has successfully processed the request and it is not going to return any of the content uh, now moving towards the uh, 300 family in 300 family i'm going to discuss only one most commonly used http status code 301 it means that it has some resource has moved permanently to some another address or some another uri so it means that all this and all of the future requests should be re redirected to given URI. So it is sim something very similar to that. Someone has uh, moved to another location and whenever uh, some person re reaches to um, the previous location, then he is redirected to the new, new location. So this is the 300 family and 400 family. We are going to face a lot of this, this during our testing or uh, development phase as well. So 400 family is really important because most of it is related to the client errors. 
So it can be, let's say, if we discuss first one, 400, it is me, it means that bad request. The client has uh, created a bad request and that uh, when a server received it, server found that this is not the correct request. So server sent the 400 response to the client. 401 means uh, unauthorized when authentication is required and has failed or has not yet been provided. That means that in some scenarios, what actually happens is that you need some sort of authentication and that authentication is not given to you. So in that scenario, server will give you 401. Then moving next, you may receive 403 in the case of forbidden. It means that forbidden, it means that the request is valid and it was correctly understood by the server, but server is refusing action due to some special permission required to access or to perform that action. So in some scenarios, what may happen is that you may face 403. That means that your request was correct and server also understood it correctly. But the issue is that if you are trying to do some action or trying to access some resource, which needs some special permission, but you do not have. So in that case, you may face 403. And 404, it means that the requested the requested resource could not be found. It simply means that whatever you are trying to access is does not exist. So that means on the server. So that means that you are trying to access something which is not present on the server side. And last, uh, if we discuss about um, 500 family, it means that 500 in, means that internal server error. This is a generic message and it is generally given in the uh, some whenever some unexpected condition exp uh, uh, occurs. So let's say um, due to some catastrophic event, let's say its server dies or any of the scenario. So this is a generic message when uh, server do not have something specific to convey to the client. So in those scenarios, in most of the scenarios, server may return 500. And 502, you may, re you may face it when the server was acting as a gateway or proxy and received an invalid response from the upstream server. So that's all for this chapter. Now we will move to the next chapter.